Hey guys, happy Sunday. I'm bringing up the last clean towel that I washed um, from Kathy's trip and I'm gonna put it away. I don't feel good at all. Not at all. Daryl just went to go get something to eat. Today's his birthday. And I haven't even done anything. But anyway, here's Kathy's room. She stripped the bed. But I miss her so much. It's really lonely. But I don't feel good. I kind of haven't felt good for a while. Like I'll feel good and then I won't feel good for a day and then I feel icky and then I feel fine. I won't go into details, but anyway, I went to Instacare yesterday after I dropped Kathy off or after her she got picked up. And um, they took a urine sample and everything, but everything turned out fine. Anyway, they put me on an antibiotic, and I don't know if it's working or not, but I just don't feel good. And I'm just really exhausted and tired and... I've been laying down all day and anyway I hope I start feeling better soon otherwise I'll just have to make an appointment with my regular doctor I hate going to the doctor when I don't know what's wrong because you have to explain everything from the beginning and then they have to take tests and you have to go here and there and explain more again and it's it's just a mess so this vlog's gonna be really short and not so fun today I did get all the laundry done I started I cleaned our whites yesterday and washed Kathy's sheets and towels and got them all put away and then today I washed tans and darks and got it all finished and put away so at least I did that and then this morning I while I was doing all that it was like 10 30 or 11 and I realized oh my gosh it's Daryl's birthday and I forgot to wish him happy birthday first thing so he was laying down on the couch and I went in and started sobbing I'm like I forgot to wish you happy birthday and I just started bawling I've just been an emotional mess lately he's like it's okay you didn't forget you didn't forget if it were tomorrow you would have forgotten but it's today so you didn't forget he's so sweet um, anyway, so now he's going to get some dinner because I'm too sick and tired to get anything. I offered to make that pork roast that you just put in the microwave, it's pre-cooked, with some potatoes and gravy or rice, but he wanted McDonald's and it's his birthday and it's not the most healthy thing when you're sick, I know, but anyway, that's what we're having. So I'm getting chicken nuggets. And he should be back pretty soon. I need to take a shower tonight. <sighs> Momo is so happy that Kathy's gone. <laughs> She is so happy. She has been by my side all day. She follows me 
everywhere. And she's just been lovey-dovey. But, so yeah. I'm gonna wait for Daryl to come home. I'm gonna set out the plates mats right now and then hopefully he'll be home soon. <laughs> Wait. I'm waiting. Patiently. What did you get? Quarter pounder. Quarter pounder. Ooh. Two sweet and sour and one honey mustard? Ooh, two honey mustard. Thanks, baby. I'll share my nuggies. Every time I have sweet and sour, it reminds me of back in the day when nuggets first came out, like when you were like 10 or something. <laughs> and this is like the all they had. What? It might have been their all they had, but this is what I got. Uh -huh. And. Oh, hell, they gave me a double quarter pounder. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel you need to eat all of it or take, a, take one out. But when my mom was in the hospital for like a couple of weeks, Doug took me to get my first chicken nuggets because we were on our way to visit her or on our way home, I don't remember. And so never, every time I eat nuggets with sweet and sour, it reminds me of when I ate them with Doug when I was like 10. Quarter pounder of cheese deluxe, and they gave me a double quarter pounder. This is the one that has like tomato. Oh. Uh, I'm sure somebody else got your hamburger. Probably. Are getting ready to go to my niece's soccer game and it's really close to my house and I'm just waiting for Daryl to get home her game starts in five minutes but Daryl couldn't get home until maybe five minutes so we're gonna be just a little bit late I've packed up the car I have a blanket and a chair I don't know where our other portable chair went but so I packed a blanket and yeah, and some water. So I'm just waiting for him to get home and then we'll go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Yeah, they're in an offside position, it's called. But they're not offside yet. You're right. <laughs> They're on their half of the floor. Way to go, Mom. You saved the day. <laughs> Abby. Hi. What are you doing? Ooh. Nothing. Nothing? Hey, baby, you want to sit in the So, tell 
them about your stuffed animal that you brought. You got a stuffed animal? Yes. Oh. That what that is? I thought that was real. That's it cute. Is. Chunky. It's like a big fat moose. <laughs> it is. So. His name is Chunky. Chunky. <laughs> He's cute. Where'd you get him? At Bear World. How fun! Idaho went to yeah. Yellowstone Bear World. Really? I love Bear World. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you go to the Real Salt Lake game, holy cow. Oh, wait, I forgot. Get down there. Get down there. Go, go, go. go run, run. Oh, nice get it, get it. Move up, move up, move up, move up. Everybody up. Move up. <laughs> <laughs> ducky anyway. in the field. Good job, right, Elizabeth. Right, right. Don't accidentally kick the ducky. I know. Good job, Allie. Good job, boy. Love the film. Good job. 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 <laughs> oh, do you want to come home with Mama? Yes, yes. Stick with it. Stick with it. Running. <laughs> Part of the game. Come on. So Abby, are you going to play soccer someday? Maybe. Maybe. What's your favorite sport? I think soccer. Huh? Soccer, probably. Soccer. Cool. That would be fun. I'll come watch your games if you do. Hey, hey, what do you say? We're on our way to the Walmart. I just need a few things. I need some shampoo. I'm like out. Oh, the sun. It's insane. And I need to get some cranberry juice and some azo. So now you know what's going on with me. Um, I actually have a urologist appointment next week, so that's all I'm going to say about it. I don't want to get into it. That's all I'm going to say about it. But anywho, our little, little Allison's team lost her game, but that's okay because they're still winners all the way. They were so cute. There's another game close by in a couple weeks that I'm gonna go to. It's not somewhere so far away that, you know, you have to make a whole day out of it. It's just down that way somewhere. So yeah, it was fun. And it was on the good day because the rest of this week, it's gonna be in the triple digits, okay? Triple digits. No rain in sight all week long, triple digits. Today was the day when it was only 95 or something. So, actually, it was supposed the high was 91 or 2 or 3 today. So, right now it's 89. And we sat behind my sister-in-law and her dad and they had the big umbrella so we sat behind them so we were totally shaded and the breeze was blowing so that was fun and since it's still early I'm going to the store for a few things It's flipping 10 o'clock. No, 9 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock. I cannot believe that I'm still here. But I'm just leaving. 
I ran into a friend of mine from high school. She lives kind of up around here. And every time we run into each other, it's always here at the Walmart. This is like our fourth time. It's hilarious. So today we were both in the bread aisle. I spent way too much money. I bought some makeup and I really didn't need it, but I sure wanted it. And there's idiots playing out in the road in the dark. They're gonna get run over. They're adults. <gasps> oh my gosh. Idiots. Okay guys, so here's a quick grocery haul. I was there for like an hour and a half. I ran into a friend of mine and I didn't even buy hardly anything. Needed some butter. Ever since Kathy was here and she got me hooked on toast and we need butter. I got some rice pudding and I wanted to try this kind. This has four cups in it and this looked really good. And then I still got my Cozy Shack also. Got some sour cream. I needed some more Lemmy Shine for my dishwasher. And then I got these because our friends use this. And every time they get in the car, and they smell so good. And I asked them, what do you use in your laundry? And it's this. And then just like the Sam's Club soap. But I'm still finishing off my Tide with Downy soap. But anyway. I want to smell like these guys. So I got those. And then I saw this Infusium shampoo and conditioner. It smells amazing. And there was only one shampoo left and it was all goopy and I had to wipe it off with one of my face masks. And it smells so heavenly. And Infusium's nice. Oh, it smells so good. So anyway, um, I thought about getting the leave-in spray-in stuff that makes it easy for your hair to comb through, but I didn't. I actually got one of these instead, the Sleek and Shine by Fructis. I'm almost out. I have like one or two pumps of this left, and you know, I really do like this. I had the Aussie not too long ago, and it's really heavy, but this is really lightweight. I like it a lot. I got this, and this is just like a cranberry pill. One serving equals one glass of cranberry juice. So, um, yeah. But I still got the juice, but I got sugar-free diet. There's only five calories per serving. So, anywho, I hate diet, but I'm gonna... The regular just has too much sugar. Even the, the light has too much sugar. So, I'm just gonna drink this down and deal with it. And then I got some more hand soaps. These are $1.24. And these two smell so good. They, they both have the same smell, but these are gonna be for the bathrooms. Oh, they smell so refreshing. I got these Equate cuticle pushers. They're just kind of flat on one end and then pointy on another. Got a couple of avocados. I got some mini cucumbers. I've never had these before, but I'm sure they're amazing. Some petite carrots, some sugar snap peas. These are just yummy things I can eat raw. And then this I got, there's a little bit of cauliflower mixed in, but at Spaghetti Factory, they had broccoli where you can just order on the side, like a big old dish of broccoli, and then they sprinkled Parmesan cheese on it and salt and pepper. It was good. And even, you can even just pour a little bit of Alfredo sauce over this, and that's amazing. And maybe a chicken breast, so that's what I'm gonna do with that. I don't have Alfredo sauce, but I do have Parmesan cheese, so. And over here, I just grabbed some bananas. Got Daryl his sweet tarts. And his Dunford bread. He likes the Dunford white bread more than the granny bread. So I got him that. And then I tried this. I'm going to try this. My friend who I ran into at the store says she loves this bread. And it was in the bread aisle that I ran into her. 
and it's got all these seeds and nuts and oats and what's it's in here 21 whole grain whole grains and seeds so and there's this is the thin slice so they're 70 calories a slice and then they also had thick slice but I wanted a thin slice and last but not least I haven't had a Charleston chew in forever so I grabbed these $1.24 I'm hoping they're not too rock solid but that's it and it's 9 30 and I have got to go to bed I also got this lip gloss by Neutrogena the Hydro Boost this is in berry brown and it looked interesting kind of matches this and I've always had my eye on this and so I finally got it this is the rose gold Lottie by London and yeah, I'm going to wear it tomorrow, maybe, if I even get out of bed. But I kept getting it and putting it back, getting it and putting it back. So finally, this trip, I finally got it. Oh yeah, and I also got another eyebrow pencil, because I think my NYX one is almost out. And <clears throat> this one was there. They didn't have the NYX one in my color. This is taupe. I think I had this color before one time, but it was a little on the orange side, but I can't remember, but that's okay. So anyway, there's that. Welcome to the closet, my friends. I have my readers up on my head so I don't lose them. Um, what did I do? Um, I drank a glass of cranberry juice and the diet's not quite bad. I just had a little Coca-Cola, a miniature Coca-Cola glass of it. I think that's like six ounces and it's pretty good. I, I can do it. I like it better when it's room temperature rather than cold. So anyway, I drank some of that. And here's my baby. And got all the food put away. I'm excited. I think tomorrow I want to make a chicken breast. Because the chicken breast at Spaghetti Factory that my friend Donnie had, it was like lightly breaded. And I don't know if it was fried in a pan or just baked. But I'm going to lightly bread mine and air fry it. And then steam my broccoli. And then just have Parmesan cheese and butter on it. That sounds good. I've got to start eating better. Got to start. And then I bought the raw vegetables to eat during the day. And yeah, I took my pills, so I'm almost asleep. Anyway, I just love you. I'm going to go to bed now. And thanks for hanging out with me today. I know I grouped two videos into one vlog, but yesterday I was just so sick and didn't feel well, and it was such a short vlog that it needed to have today's vlog join it. So I hope you liked it. I can't talk because I am sleepy, but I really truly hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a big fatty thumbs up. Big fatty thumbs up. My videos rely on your thumbs up it's true and my videos my channel's not doing as well as it used to for some reason I just I don't know so please give me a thumbs up share like and subscribe <laughs> I love you all and on that I will say good night everybody